I found myself in Illinois, so what did I do? Well, instead of going rock hounding, I did something that I, I don't think I've ever done before. I went to a rock show, the Kane County Rock Show. It was amazing. I walked in the door, I paid my $3 to get in, and I got an amethyst crystal and a, a really nice welcome, and it was a huge show. Lots of rocks, lots of gems, lots of jewelry, lots of fossils, lots of everything that you and I love. But what I find even better than the rocks, which we all love, it's the people. It's our people. That's what's the most interesting thing. Well, this rock show is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. So let's take a look at what we've got here. And who doesn't like shark teeth? And horse teeth. Maybe. And woolly rhinoceros teeth. And knives to go with it. Uh-huh. It's got good color. It's got good color. What were you thinking? Fossil mastodon teeth. From Florida. Where else? Gorgeous stuff here in this booth. You do need to have deep pockets. The jaw with the teeth in them. Wow. I love that geode. That's a big one. I like the booths that have everything labeled. Yeah. So you've got copper ore that lets you know right away what it is. It's copper ore, it's five dollars, calcite, amethyst crystal point. Uh, nice prices too. Wow, that is. That's cool. That's heavy too. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Yeah, I Nice. Now see here, I'd drive a hundred miles to find a fossil trilobite. And here I could buy one for five dollars. But finding it yourself, that's the whole thing. And these fossilized sand dollars. Yes. Not too long ago, I saw some people finding those on a YouTube video. I thought, man, I'd love to find one of those. So that's on my, my list for sure. You go to these booths and you ask people if they've collected things themselves, and sometimes they have and sometimes they haven't. These guys have actually been out to pick up these, not necessarily these individual ones, but They've actually been out in the field collecting these specimens. This is like a family affair here, is it? It is. It yeah. Really is. So, like, you're the grandson, and this is your grandpa. Yep. And, and grandma? I'm, I'm his wife. Okay. All right. Okay. Girlfriend. Girlfriend. Are you as excited about rocks as what he is? She likes Almost. all the crystals. Oh, the crystals, yeah. The crystals, minerals. We all have our thing, don't we? We do. What's the name of your, your booth here? Uh, Rocks Rocks. Okay. Oh, well, it's always a lot of fun to find these brachiopods like that. Now, I've never found one this big, but that's, that's impressive. Oh, well, this is... That is so cool. It doesn't even look real. And insect fossils are kind of on the rare side. I've got some, but man, I don't have any that nice. Yeah, 
These are real? They are real. They almost look like photographs. Yeah. You can see the repair on them by looking through a light. So when you say that, what do you mean? Like the spots that are showing I'm thinking as white so. yes. are repairs? When you, are the white spots, is that repair? Or is no, that no? The white spots are Oh, okay. I don't yeah. know what. Come on, take my money. There's, there's a good one. Okay. Make sure I get oh, okay. this on film here. Okay. So that, what's showing up as white, that's, that's, that's the real thing. That's the real stuff, yes. Nice. And I had it just opposite in my mind. Well, okay. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. So thank you for showing that You're to welcome. me. welcome. I think they're interesting because of the... Oh, yeah. I don't know what those are. They're a feeler. Antenna. Yeah. yeah. Of course, the eye is drawn to these crystals. Just amethyst is so impressive. Okay, should I take a chance? 10 identified minerals and fossils plus two gemstones for five bucks. Sounds like a deal. All right, are you the geode crackers? Yeah. Nice cool. kid. Nice That's clear a, quartz. There's a little bit of iron pyrite right down in there. That hasn't dissolved yet. Cool, thank you. Yep. You did well, didn't you? Yes, you did. <laughs> I'll take that up for you. That's a Kia Cut version. Yeah, it's a Kia Cut. It uh, has sports and iron pyrite in it. So then you write that down so people can remember it? Yeah. Oh, cool. 1188. Nice geodes. I can't help but always be drawn to geodes. Right? I already have so many. I already have one of each of these. Do you really? <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm filming, so I hope you don't mind. Oh no, that's fine. 15, so how did you get those geodes? Did you buy them at shows or, or did you shows. Okay. Yeah. Mostly these ones, the coconut ones, uh, I've only know. seen here, here, so I've gotten yeah. them here. Uh, the pink ones, same thing, we've only seen them here, but these ones are pretty, uh, from what I remember, they're pretty uh, normal, they're just usually smaller. Okay, yeah. Now, do you have one with water inside of it? Because they've got some of those down there that have water trapped inside of it. Those agates down there at the end have water in it. No. What? Those agates at the end down there have yeah. water in Yeah. So I might... You know, I might be uh, piquing your interest in maybe another one. Kind of are. <laughs> Very interesting. I've never seen. I like you. Can like... I already get another one? I do. Just... Well, she's already got. She's already got one of these, right? I've got multiple of these. Yeah. I. Uh, multiple of. Geodes are definitely small of your this. thing. Yeah. Okay. But I don't have a big one like that, so I'm deciding which big one I want. So I collect geodes too, and mostly from Indiana, just myself going out and finding them. And I've got so many that now I've started taking them to my family and I'm loading up their yards and we just moved. So I left some behind, but I also stashed some in other people's yards and said, now I'm coming back to get those. So don't think you're gonna keep them. That's fantastic. Well, anyway, congratulations on your collection. Thank you, you as well. Coconut geodes, Keokuk, Iowa geodes. Now these do tempt me. Hollow agate geodes. Yep. Especially if they would look like that. Those are cool. All right, now this is the specimen that I just kind of wanted to get my hands on. Wow, what a beautiful piece. That's the kind of stuff you see it shows. And it just piques your interest. Min Newport, Minnesota. 
You guys came a long way, didn't you? Yes, we did. The things we do for our rocks. Agatized coral from Florida. Love it when they've got the labels. Now these we find a lot of Dasky stones. Also shell. Well, these are all 50% off. I wonder what makes a person decide <laughs> to sell them for 50% off. They, they bring them every year and nobody buys them. Either that or they get, <laughs> get tired of dusting them, maybe. <laughs> yeah. They're getting too dusty to clean now. <laughs> Man, they're gorgeous, though. Wouldn't mind having any one of them. These do not touch. Man, I wouldn't dare touch that. I'd be afraid I'd ruin it. Now these are 50% off, can I touch them? I'm just teasing. And that is awesome, that calcite. <laughs> Lots of jewelry. Now, I'm not gonna be looking at jewelry very much today. Now, my wife is, though. I'm sure. But there's plenty of it at these rock shows. And on the other side, they've got people doing demonstrations of how it's all put together. And this is where my wife is at her best, looking at these strands and deciding what she wants. So are you doing this for this little girl? Right here? No, this this young lady here is interested in learning wire wrapping. I see. So she just I offered to let her sit and watch. Me oh, nice. Wrap. Yeah, so, that's and excellent. She, she accepted, and she is really very interested. Oh, neat. And, and you're welcome to do the same thing. How long have you been wire wrapping? Uh, a little over 25 years. Oh my, so you came into this when you were three years old, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Put chair here, sit down. We'll teach you how to do it. I would love to. I. This is just gorgeous. If you want to do this, you get this book. This book. Chain mail. Don't buy any other book except this book. Okay. Okay? This is the book. It's... They take you from the beginning, they explain it well, they show you what you need to buy, not something you don't need to buy, 25 bucks, you'll save that in material. And here's the finished product. How long do you think it took you? I mean, we were sitting right here, but maybe a half an hour, 40 minutes? Probably. Yeah. Did you get her name? And you have a card. All right, this was a creation by Doris Keene, Clinton, Illinois. Very nice. Let's keep that. Isn't that pretty? Wow. The stone is nice, but the wrap is gorgeous. <laughs> did I buy anything? Yes, I did buy a few things, but the very best thing was I was able to buy some gifts for my granddaughter, whose birthday is this week. But beyond that, I think it's really good to get an example of what it is you're looking for so that it's easier to recognize it.